What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. This video, we are looking at the NBA prize picks plays for Tuesday, January the 9th. Just have four picks on the screen today. Only got a five game slate tonight, so I uh, didn't want to force picking a couple of extra players. Uh, let's go ahead and get started. First pick here is Scoot Henderson, taking him over 21 and a half PRA. He's been playing really well for the Blazers as of late. He has like a long string of games, finally getting over 30 minutes consistently. So um, he's been starting recently, and uh, they've been just kind of getting him more involved in the team, especially with them looking to just kind of build around their young players now. They'll probably see some of their veterans moved at the deadline, and uh, they're still dealing with some injuries um, as well. So besides Henderson playing a lot of minutes, uh, you still have Grant there, and you still have Simons and Brogdon, but I feel like Henderson does enough in all categories. You know, he does give you some rebounding, you know, anywhere from three to five, even seven rebounds is good. Um, and assists too. He has a ball in his hands a lot. He's had a couple double doubles this year, a couple of games with 10 plus assists as well. So I'm taking him to get you at least 22 PRA against the Knicks. We know Cade Cunningham is out and that's going to open up a lot of scoring and a lot of opportunities and usage for these rest of the Pistons. Uh, they get a spot against the Kings, so it's a fast paced game here. They got Jaden Ivey's, should get more ball handling responsibilities. You know, he's a decent rebounder too for a guard. Um, and with Cade getting a ton of assists, uh, a lot of those are going to go to Ivy now. If he has the ball in his hands more, he'll probably start Killian Hayes. But I feel like Ivy is definitely the more guy that you, better option that you of a guy that you can trust instead of Killian Hayes. Just can't trust that guy. So give me Ivy. Should be a high, at least a potentially high scoring. Just a matter of if the Pistons can hit their shots. Um, and hopefully, the Kings haven't been playing that well as of late. So hopefully, the Pistons can keep it. Close enough to where, you know, Ivy and Duran are still getting their minutes. Speaking of Duran, I'm taking him over 13 and a half points. Now, he's been a great double-double every single game pretty much for him, automatic. Uh, his PRA prop is 27 and a half, so it's almost double his points prop. Points and rebounds, you would need, you know, you would need at least 12 rebounds to make it worth it. I'm taking just the points against the Kings, uh, you know, with against a bonus there. It's a spot where... You know, Duran's going to get the opportunities down low to see if he can finish on Sabonis. Uh, he can give you upside to scoring, and without Cade, uh, they're going to need some other guys to step up and score. So I think taking Duran over 13.5 points looks good. Otherwise, I'd take his points and rebounds. And finally, RJ Barrett coming off of a 37-point game. I'm taking him points and rebounds here against the Lakers. Just need 23 points and rebounds. Typically, that's what he's going to do. He's not going to get you a ton of assist opportunities especially with quickly Barnes likes to assist too. So just not something I can really trust. Did have six last game, but typically he's averaging, you know, just under three. And points wise, he's going to give you at least in the teens in points, if not close to, you know, he does have upside to do more, but I feel pretty good that he can get you at least 23 points or rebounds. If he does get you 18 points against the Lakers, you just need five rebounds. I think that's uh, pretty doable. So that is what I got for you guys today. Those are my four picks. You know, no superstars today. See if we can build around some of these, uh, some of these, not even role players, but just guys that are getting some more opportunities now. Especially Henderson, Ivy, Durant today, and then Bart Barrett. Just see if we can build off of last game's performance. So, best of luck. Thank you for watching, and I will catch you all next time.